Uh, looks like maybe here we go again in the Gulf. Lonnie Quinn is here with that. Lonnie. Remember, last year it seemed like every storm every, was going yeah. to Louisiana, and here we are with a real bruising storm out there. Uh, we'll, we'll get into that in just a bit, but let's talk about our situation first. So you look outside, it's much calmer, 77 degrees. Boy, it was a hot one today. You hit 93. Humidity made it feel like 98. I mean, it was a cooker out there. 93, 11 degrees, warmer than it should be this time of the year. And we picked up those afternoon, early evening rainstorms. I mean, they came through. Look at this. Between Bayonne and the harbor, put down 3.3 inches. Some folks were experiencing rain out there at 2 inches per hour. I mean, it really came down. What do we see right now? Uh, nothing more than light showers in our area. I, I see a little thunderstorm there just south of Philadelphia. There's also another one, kind of a cluster down around Cape May, but, you know, very spotty. But there is a chance out there tonight for a little bit of rain. It wouldn't be anything terribly heavy. Taking a look at what's going to happen as you go into your day tomorrow because there's a rain chance, right? I mean, the entire state almost of New Jersey is under a flood watch. Well, here's the deal. The numbers have come down. Yes, you could still see an inch of rain around Tom's River. That would be problematic because your soil is just chock full of moisture right now. We picked up so much rain over the last, say, 10 days. But, you know, maybe two tenths in New York City, lots of zeros out there, three tenths in Poughkeepsie. If you are having like, you know, like a barbecue or something tomorrow or you're having a birthday party for your mom, um, I would say, you know, go for it. We're going to go forward with my mom's birthday party. I, I think there's going to be some rain, but I don't think it's a washout of a day. Now, that orange color that you see well south, that's where you find the potential for two to three inches of rain. So out of an abundance of caution, we put or they put the National Weather Service put in the flash flood watch for, like I said, all of New Jersey, all five boroughs of the city, because there is a chance that some of that range I showed you could migrate to the north. But overall, I'm a little bit more optimistic about tomorrow than I was yesterday. Whereas yesterday I was very pessimistic. I think it looks okay right now. Rain, yes, but I don't think it's devastating. This could be a devastating storm. All right, that is Ida. Let me show you where Ida is going. So it sort of breaks free from Cuba and then it pushes over the Gulf. And here's where it gets real strong, real fast. I mean, those folks along the Gulf Coast don't have a lot of time to plan. We're talking this morning. We didn't even have a, a category anything. And now all of a sudden we have a Cat 1 that's forecast to become a Cat 4, maybe making landfall as a Cat 3. And now we think it's more like maybe early Monday morning. But again, remember these outer bands and the eye itself getting there before that. With, I mean, the eye wall gets there before the center. So I think tomorrow is the day that they've got to make their plans and they've got to choose to evacuate or not. Then we're going to watch this storm. Again, that's early Monday morning. Then it sort of skirts right up along the Mississippi. Then it cuts to the northeast. And sure enough, it does spill some rain into our area by the time you get to Thursday of next week. But I want to be clear about this. At that point in time, this has been a terrestrial storm. It's been traveling over land. It will not have a real identity to it. It's not tropical. It's tropical moisture. Okay, that's where it came from. But I don't see a name or a number that we would be dealing with. But my goodness, guys. We just don't need any more rain around here, and there's a possibility for it by the time you get to next week. So rain chances are there tomorrow, okay, but not as much for Sunday. I think Sunday's the better day. Still a slight chance for Sunday at 80 degrees. Monday, you're 86, and there's that, you know, p.m. thunderstorm chance, and it could linger into Tuesday a little bit. That's maybe a 20, 30 percent chance, and then by say Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, we've got to at least look at the chance to have some of that moisture spilled into our area. But right now, the way I see it, if it changes, I'll let you know, it looks like just rain. Okay. Right? okay. Thank you, Lonnie. Thanks, Lonnie.